this is my method for killing the Empress of Light. So we're gonna start with what I did to beat Nighttime Empress. And it starts with Tiki Armor. So if you go to the um, to the Witch Doctor after defeating Gollum, um, I believe it's after Gollum, I don't think post Plantera they sell it, but you can buy the Tiki Armor for pretty expensive honestly, but like if, if you have a whip and you use this method, you get a lot of money. <laughs> a lot of money from events. Um, so you buy the Tiki Armor, you buy a Hercules Beetle, and you buy a Pygmy Necklace. So all three of these are necessary. You just need one Hercules Beetle. I have a second one just in case, but I didn't end up using it for my loadout. So you need the Her Hercules Beetle because you merge a Necromantic Scroll with, um, with the Hercules Beetle, and you get the Pyrus Scarab. And then you need all the stuff for the Celestial Shell, so I believe that is the Moonstone, Moon Charm, Sunstone, and uh, Shell. Uh, mermaid Shell, whatever it's called. Moonstone you get from vampires during a solar eclipse. Um, you get the Sunstone from killing Gollum. But it might take a few tries. For me, it took 10 tries of killing Gollum before I finally got one. Um, the Mermaid Shell, I believe, is during a Blood Moon. Um, it's either Solar Eclipse or Blood Moon. Um, I'll flash the right one on the screen. Moon Charm is from Werewolves during the uh, Full Moon. So you pretty much need like all the nighttime events and then killing Gollum to be able to get the Celestial Shell. Um, next up is the Power Glove. For one of the parts, I believe it's killing the Wall of Flesh, you can get it. Um, I don't remember the specifics though, unfortunately. Again, I'll flash it on the screen. Pygmy Necklace, we already went over. And then Summoner Emblem, you kill the Wall of Flesh to get one of those. For me, it took five tries to get one. Um, and the whole point is max DPS. You want the most amount of damage per second possible so you can kill her very very quickly. So for my weapon of choice, because previously to doing all this I did not have a kaleidoscope. So I just had my morning star, which I got from the dungeon. I mined out this whole huge area and with these um, with these floors I would just go around, fight all the enemies here, fight them down here, go back up, fight, fight, and just circle back around in a figure eight. Over and over and over again. The Xeno Staff is your second weapon. <laughs> so the basic premise of what you want to do is you use the um, the little aliens, the UFOs, to do all the damage, and you just like hit your whip and run away. You can get the Xeno Staff by doing the Martian Invasion event. And what I did is I towered way up in the ocean because they only spawn at the one third and two thirds of the world. So that's probably about like here and here for me. Um, they only spawn like here and back, and here and back, and they spawn more in space. So I built this huge tower up with a water candle right there and I just sat there. And I let my, um, I let my summons at the time, which were the, uh, twins, and I would use the, um, I'd use the, uh, like, bewitching table or whatever to increase my minion count before I had the tiki armor and all this, and I would just camp up there, and they would kill all the harpies and everything, and then um, a UFO would spawn, and I would retreat back to here and just do the invasion. Now for the Martian saucer, I would literally just fly around and whip or terrorblade it until the outer four things were very, very damaged, and then I would just um, I would switch out my broom for a unicorn and run along and just deal lots and lots of damage with the Terra Blade because the Terra Blade can hit way farther than the whip. Um, and eventually I got the um, Xeno Staff and that took many, many tries. Uh, as far as I'm aware, that laser the Martian Saucer can, can generate at the bottom of it 
is the most powerful attack in the game other than the Moon Lord's laser. So that was a huge killer most of the time for me. And then for the Witch's Broom, that you need the Pumpkin Moon event, so while you're down in the dungeon, you can get Ectoplasm and enough stuff to summon the Pumpkin Moon event. And then once it becomes night, you summon it, and you kill Morning Woods for, um, for the Witch's Broom. And I made this huge pit down here of all lava. Oh jeez, it's a Blood Moon. Oh wait, that means um, they'll spawn faster. Good. So you can increase the spawn rate of Prismatic Lace Wings. So what I would do is I would catch them with a Bug Net uh, to have them for later. So Blood Moons increase their spawn rate. So Blood Moon plus Water Candle equals Profit. Oh, there's one now. Where is it? There you are. We're just gonna kill it. And this is my strategy. I call it the runaway strategy. Because <laughs> that's literally all they do. Oops, I forgot the buff. So for buffs, I literally just had pad tie. <laughs> It's, it's not the best buff, it's only medium uh, improvement to all stats, but it's more than enough in my opinion. Like if you're gonna take damage, major improvement is not gonna help much. But if you don't take damage, then that's great. Ooh, that was close. Yeah, you kind of just circle around her and run away as much as possible. This is a huge killer. Um, okay, she's at less than 10,000. That's really good. And the Witch's Broom is very nice. Yep, there we go. Damage list as well. Oh, until the very end. <laughs> so if we were doing that during the daytime, we would have won and we would have gotten the Terra Prisma. Um... But yeah, that's, that's kind of how you do it. You just kind of kite around everything, run away as much as possible. In my experience, it's way easier to go down than up with the Witch's Broom. Um, up just feels way slower to me than going down. Maybe that's intentional, maybe that's just a placebo. I'm, I'm not really sure. So I try to gain as much height as possible in the beginning of the fight, and then towards second phase I kind of dip down as much as I need to uh, before going back up. And that's, that's a way to, um, to really help your chances at surviving. And I highly recommend practicing against Night, Night Empress rather than Day Empress. Because if it's Day Empress, then you get one hit and then you're done. It's, it's significantly easier when you, have, um, when you have enough wiggle room to survive. But yeah, I, I made this huge arena. All of this is one layer of lava. So with my Terra Spark boots, I went down my elevator, and in these little lava pockets, I would pick up four buckets of lava. I had little bricks here, like uh, little, um, what are they called? Like mud bricks. And I would just place one, and then go a little ways, place one, place one, and I would fill in the lava in these little pools. And once the whole thing was covered in lava with the little dividers, I broke all the dividers, and it only took two tries before it all settled. Um, I'm not sure why it died the first time, maybe the spacing on one of them was just barely wrong. But it, it only took two tries to get it like this, and the best part about this lava pit, when you're doing any of the events, um, enemies are kind of stupid. Slimes are the only ones that won't fall through platforms when you do. So if you are below a platform, an enemy will fall down to go and try to kill you. And if you, uh, like, if, if everything is on this level, right, and you duck below, then they'll all just fall into the lava. So it's very, very helpful when trying to get the Witch's Broom from the Morning Woods, because you can just take a Terra Blade and just spam it like this and fly around them with wings, preferably. Um, I would not use the Witch's Broom, it is not fast enough to dodge some of their, like, attacks but literally just doing this. <laughs> I find that most enemies and bosses in this game cannot handle just spinning in a circle. <laughs> and it's it's very effective. But yeah, that's, that's the basis of the strategy. Um, and on screen now, I'm going to show my footage from the, the, the attempt that I got it 
during the day that is completely corrupted. Um, but yeah, here's that. So while we're watching this beautiful corrupted footage, there's a few things I didn't mention. For the Empress of Light, I actually cleared out a whole little area where my hollow is, because my hollow uh, merges with the corruption, and if the uh, if the prismatic lace wings fly into another biome, they'll pretty quickly despawn. You don't want to cover those with pearl wood bricks or anything hollow-y, just cover it with dirt or something so then you know like that's the divider but it gives enough space for the actual fight even though you'll be doing most of it in the air um and then for uh golem you want to make a little like arena below the actual temple because often i find that there isn't enough room so i use the rod of discord teleport down there and i make golem fall through the platform and then i can just freely hit his fists and dodge the lasers and little fireballs in addition, I'm actually playing Expert Mode. Um, in my world, there are two Master Mode trophies. That was just a fun little thing I did. I hopped into a Master World for like two seconds, killed those two bosses, and left. If you do make it a little arena for the Empress of Light, you can just go back and forth and back and forth and watch your radar for Prismatic Lace Swing up at the top corner. Now, one last thing before we leave off. Um, I have like four videos in the works but uh, college has like really picked up for me, so I've got like no progress done on any of them except this like very, very basic script. Um, hopefully I have more time during like the holiday season, but um, right now I just don't have the time to produce them. So some of the scripts might be outdated by the time I'm able to ship them out. Um, like I have this, this really, really fun one that I've been working on. Um, I talked to a developer and everything. It, it's very, very fun. Um, but I, I just don't have the time right now. So this is, this is like the in-between thing. So yeah, thank you for sticking around to the end of the video. Um, have a good night.